Hello there guys and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 22 career mode video guys and in today's video we're going to go ahead and rewind Philip Coutinho's career. And as we've seen in over last week or so, Coutinho's going ahead and joined Aston Villa on a short term loan until the end of the season guys. So again, big move for him, you could sort of say going to Aston Villa, the big expectations on them to get up to the top half of the table. Can he do it is the question, but of course he joined Barcelona for a big fee from Liverpool, didn't really work out for him. Now there's another reason then why I wanted to go ahead and make this video, guys. I wanted to go ahead, relive Coutinho's career once again, and just see if we can get him a better outcome than what's happened in real life. And now that if you guys are new to these kind of videos on our channel, what we do is we go ahead and pick one player, in this case Coutinho, we go ahead and sim 10 seasons. I've also gone ahead and make Coutinho 21 for this video, guys. On screen right now, I'm going to put his FIFA 11 card, I think it is, and that was 75 rated. I've gone ahead and made him 75 rated, 21 as well. We sim 10 seasons, track his goals, assists, trophies won, Ballon d'Ors, average rating. Then at the end of the video, we pile all that together and we see how many goals he's got. And here he is then, guys. This is Coutinho himself. You can see age 21, can play cam, left wing and centre mid. 75 rated. Again, going to be a really good video, this one, guys. Starts off at Inter Milan. Again, can he get straight into the first team here? If he can, we'll spend a couple of seasons here, maybe win a couple of trophies. But if not, we'll get him a move to a different club. So let's go ahead right now. Let's see where he fits in to Inter's team. Okay, now so straight away, I'm going to go ahead and put him in the first team here. Conor Loglu going to make way, going to go on the bench. Uh, Coutinho got a minus three. But we'll go ahead and make him a cam. That way we get to keep Inter's formation. Plus Coutinho gets into the team. Again, 75 rated. Is he going to get much game time here? That's going to be a big question. And now just quickly then, before we do go ahead and sim this first season, let's get a development plan on Coutinho, of course. I'm going to keep him as a cam for now. Maybe in the future, maybe make him a left winger or centre mid or even striker at some point. You just never know, guys. But I think that sprint speed acceleration does need improving. So I think Dynamo would be maybe the best one. Please, he's dribbling as well. Short passing or attacking midfielder, guys. Uh, I don't know. What do we go for? I think maybe Shadow Striker won't be too bad. Increase his finishing. Yeah, let's go Shadow Striker for now. And then we'll change it from, you know, onwards from now on. And of course, then, if you guys are looking forward to this video, please don't forget to drop a like right now down below on the video. Let me know down below in the comments as well what player you'd like to see me do next, guys. Couple of players on the list already. I've got Mario Goethe. I've got Balotelli. Uh, ben Arthur as well. Some great players, guys. His career at the start, very promising. But towards the end, didn't really live out to so how did he wanted it to. So, anyway, guys, if you enjoy it, hit the subscribe button as well to get to see new career mode videos every single day. And here is then how the Serie A finishes in this first season and Inter Milan in third place on 76 points level with Lazio, but uh, no Serie A trophy for us. And so in the other competitions then, did Inter win anything and losing the final to Juventus. Okay, so no trophy there. Copa Italia maybe? No, didn't even make the final in that, guys. Champions League. Did we win that? Did we win the Champions League? We didn't even make the final. We got a lot of time in the semi-final. 6-5 City won. Okay, I know Inter going through a couple of problems right now. The strongest team, but I was hoping for at least one trophy. But of course, then the main aim isn't about Inter Milan, guys. It's about Coutinho. So let's have a see how he's got on in this first season right now. Here we go. Goals, top scorer. Latoro Martins. Coutinho's injured. What? Okay, so he's played 19 games this season, which is, to be honest, more than I thought. But nine goals, five assists isn't bad. 78 rated, but he's injured for six weeks, guys. That is not good. That is not good at all. Uh, let's go ahead right now. Let's get started on the second season and assess our options. Okay, here we are then, guys, at the start of season two. And I think we're going to go ahead right now and get Coutinho a move to another club. Because I think in this Inter Milan team, we're just not going to get as much game time as we want. If we want to grow Coutinho, we need to play every single game. Again, 19 games was more than I expected. But still, I think he needs to be playing at least 40 games a season, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's add him to a transfer list and see which teams do come in for him. And here we go, then we have our first transfer offer, guys. It's from Atletico Bilbao for 18 million, which isn't a bad price tag. Let's go ahead right now. Let's accept this offer. Let's get moved to Atletico Bilbao. Simmer season there. And, well, before we do that, let's see how he fits into their team. And here we are then, guys, at Atletico Bilbao. Coutinho is here. Let's go ahead. Let's fit him into this first team because I think a change of formation is definitely needed. And so here's the formation, then. I've gone ahead and decided on, guys, a 4 1 2 1 2 wide. Which, again, leaves Coutinho to supply the two strikers there. Naki Williams and Sanchez should be able to supply them with some goals this season. Again, 78 rated, so he fits into this team. I don't see anyone else coming off the bench and, you know, maybe taking game time off him. He should be able to play every single game. And I think then, guys, in terms of development plan this season, I do want to work on that weak foot as well. But, however, that sprint speed, I don't know how crucial it is. I know, obviously, we could do it getting it higher. But I think maybe advanced playmaker, again, here's a camp. We need him assisting goals more than anything. So let's get him on that for this season. 
Crazy week full as well, and let's see how it pans out. Okay, here we are then, guys, at the end of our second season in Coutinho's career. And Atletico Bilbao finishing in seventh place on 60 points. Only one point behind Sevilla, who won the league of the season, Atletico Madrid, guys. 84 points, Barcelona in third. It'd be funny, guys, if we do get a transfer offer from Barcelona. But let's go ahead right now, check the Cups, see if we won any of them. Okay, so Supercopa, did we didn't make the final and we got knocked out straight away to Sevilla. Okay, Copa del Rey, come on. Something in this. Okay, didn't we make the final of that either? Quarterfinals, no. Round of 16, no. Round of 32, surely not. Wow, okay, Villarreal, that was quite tough. Quite tough, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look, Europa League, was we in that? And was we even in Europa League? And okay, no, was we in any competitions? Conference League, maybe? Was we in that? And we didn't make the final if we were. And, okay, no, we wasn't in any European competitions. But the main thing then, of course, is to see how Coutinho has got on now. Come on, we need to see 80 rated at least. And I want to see him play in every game. Let's get into this right now. Top scorer is going to be Anaki Williams, of course. Coutinho, 27 games, 5 goals, 7 assists. I feel like he had a better season last season. And he played less games as well. No injury this season. 80 rated now, though, which is nice to see. 22, 80 rated. I feel like this next move, guys, next season could be a big one for him. Okay, you can see then, guys, at the end of last season, Coutinho did go ahead and pick Player of the Month award up. But I still think this season, guys, we need a move. We need a move to a club. And it's hard because at a Cam 80 rated, I don't think you're getting in Liverpool's first team, Chelsea's first team, or even Barcelona's first team, or anything like that. But I want to move to a club where we've got a chance at a trophy because so far, we just haven't won anything. Well, let's go ahead then and get Coutinho on the transfer list once again, guys, and see which teams do come in for him. Okay then guys, so we just got this email in right now. I didn't even know Coutinho had a release clause on his contract, but Spurs have gone ahead and met his release clause of 39.1 million and he's going to go ahead and join Spurs. Fair play, okay, I didn't even know. I didn't even... I didn't... <laughs> okay, okay, fair play, fair play. Spurs is next team. Going to be interesting. Um, let's go ahead and join them. And here we are then guys at Tottenham Hotspur right now. Let's have a see how we're going to fit Coutinho into this team right now because this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. Two-man midfield... I don't think a cam fits in there. However, he can play left wing, but Son occupying that position right now. I don't think Coutinho's getting in ahead of him. Let's have a see. Spurs, of course, sign some players. Wow, okay. What a squad they've got. Matty Cash is in here as well. Right, okay. So let's replace um, who on the bench. Let's just put Carter Vickers onto the reserves. We're going to go ahead right now. Pick a formation that could get Coutinho into this team. And here's the formation then. I've gone ahead and chosen for Spurs this season. Coutinho playing in a 4-3-3 attacking as the cam, of course. He's going to be, he's going to be behind uh, Correa, Harry Kane and Son. If he doesn't get, you know, a 15-plus assist this season, I'd be very surprised. But again, he's got to be playing every single game. We've got Dalele on the bench. You can play cam, of course, 82 rated. Um, I just hope Coutinho can grow and get above him and just stay in this first team. And for that reason, of course, I'm going to go ahead and get a new development plan on him. So we've had advanced playmaker. We need that, we need that finishing and sprint speed increasing, guys. I think maybe Shadow Striker. A couple of goals from this season would be nice. Finishing, sprint speed, long shots, volleys. Yeah, again, I think Dynamo would maybe be better for acceleration and sprint speed, but I think Shadow Striker. Let's go with that. Okay then, guys, here we are at the end of season three right now, and things don't look good for Spurs, do you? Let's be honest. 11th place finish on 50 points. 14 games lost this season. Who won the league this season? And it was Man City. Of course it is. I could have guessed that, to be honest. Let's be honest. Let's go ahead right now, check the other competitions, see if we won anything. Okay, so the FA Cup, did Spurs win this? No, Arsenal. Go ahead and win this. Spurs getting knocked out way before the quarterfinals, by the looks of it. Carabao Cup, did we win this? And no. Okay, didn't win the semi-finals either. Wow, okay, this Spurs team. This Spurs team, wow. Super Cup, was we even involved in that? Nope. Uh, let's, just, uh, let's move on right now. Champions League. I don't know where Spurs finished last season, so I don't know if there was in any sort of competitions whatsoever. None. Not the Champions League. Europa League, maybe. Was he involved in this? He was. Okay. Did we, did we make the final? Did we make the final? No. Okay. Where did Spurs get knocked out? Round of 16. And it was to Milan. Let's have a look then at Coutinho's career this season, guys. Again, we need to get to a team where I feel like Bilbao was a decent team. Don't get me wrong. Probably getting regular game time. But at the same time... We need a team where we can start each and every game and not miss a game, pretty much. But let's have a see at Spurs. How many games did we get? Top scorer, Harry Kane. Coutinho, 27 games. Similar amount to what he got at, at Atletico Bilbao. Five goals, four assists. Wow, okay. Another season of a 6.6 .6 average rating. 82 rating now. Um, how many games did Deli Alli get, by the way? Was it shared? Okay, he got 14. He got less than Coutinho. Fair play. Um, but again, Coutinho, guys, 82 rated now, 23 years of age. 
we need to start winning trophies and start bagging more goals and assists. And here we are then guys, at the start of season four right now. Coutinho once again, let's go ahead, get him added to the transfer list. I find it hard at the moment to find a team where we can sort of settle for maybe even just two or three seasons. But right now, we need to find that perfect team. Okay, here we go then. We've got two transfer offers on the table right now, guys. Inter Milan want us back once again. United want to go ahead and sign us. I think United, guys, again, they've got Bruno Fernandes. It's going to be hard to get into the first team. But in terms of trophies, we haven't won one as of yet. Inter Milan, we could probably get in their first team. But would, would, do we want to go ahead and rejoin our first team? I don't know, guys. Let's go ahead and accept the offer from United. See if we can go ahead and get a move there. And here we are then, guys, in charge of Manchester United right now. And some interesting players already at the club. Do they need another cam? Maybe we've made a mistake here by joining United. I'm hoping not, guys. I'm hoping we can stay here. Maybe even just for at least two or three seasons at most to try and work our way into this first team and just settle somewhere, really. Let's go ahead and get uh, Coutinho into the first team. Do we go ahead and maybe go with a 4 2 2 2? That way we can play two cams. Because we, we need a situation where you can play two cams, guys. Because we need to be in this team. Bruno Fernandes, 89 rated. We want to try and play our best team to win trophies. So I'm going to go ahead right now take a look at the formation. And here's the formation, guys. We're going to head and settled on right now the 4 2 2 2. The same system to use in real life. Fernandes out on the right. Coutinho out on the left. I'm hoping. We can get some game time here at the club in this formation. Again, it's going to be a big gamble. They've got uh, Coutinho, they've got Bruno Fernandes, they've got Thomas Muller, they've got Lingard still here at the club, they've got Luis Alberto here as well. What are they doing? Buying all these cams. Rudiger's here as well. Okay, fair play. Let's get him in the team. Um, but why do they need all these cams? And okay then, so in terms of a development plan, they don't seem to be taking any effect anymore, guys. We've got five-star weak foot now, which is good to see. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is get him on a left winger development plan, but not convert him. Just keep him on that. Um, yeah, let's just keep him on that. Let's just hope them lines turn into arrows and we get some improvement. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put him on that. And here we go then, guys. We get our first trophy in this Coutinho Rewind right now. We win the Premier League with United on 78 points. I don't think I've seen a Premier League won on around about 70 points, 80 points in a long, long time. But United do it. Only six losses all season. Now, we have at least one trophy in the bag. Let's check out the other competitions as well whilst we're here. FA Cup, did we win this? We did. Okay. Beat Leicester on penalties. Wow. Okay. So, I moved to United, guys. To get us two trophies in the bag. Obviously, the big question is how much did we impact in these games? Carabao Cup, did we get any games? Uh, game time. Did we win it? No, we did not win it. We got knocked out of qualifiers. Nottingham Forest knocked us out, guys. Okay. Fair play. Super Cup, was we involved in this? We wasn't. Barcelona, though. Losing 3 0 to Roma. Wow. Okay. Champions League. Okay, no, no, no. Oh, okay, round of 16, PSG knock us out 3-1. Let's have a see then how much game time Coutinho got this season. Also, goals and assists as well, guys. Here we go. Goals goes to Isaac on eight, uh, 84, 24, sorry. Oh, no, Coutinho, where are you? Coutinho, where are you? 15 games, only one goal, zero assists. One goal, zero assists. What do we do? What do we do from here, guys? Do we stay? Do we move? Because, again, if we stay... We could win more trophies. If we move, we get more game time, which allows us to, as you can see, stay, he stayed the same overall. 82 rated. We need a team that we can get regular regular game time in. And here we are then at the start of Season 5, guys. This is where it gets serious now. This is where we really need to look at Coutinho's future. And where do we go from here, pretty much? In this United team again, we've... Okay, Luis Alberto, minus 11. Yeah, the team's um, looking pretty thin right now in terms of midfielders that can play CDM. But uh, I think a move again... Is needed because United here got too much quality at Cam. Just got too much quality and we just can't get the game time we need. Okay, here we go then. We've got two transfer offers on the table right now. Atletico Bilbao. I unfortunately missed that offer. It would have been a good idea to go ahead and join them. But we've got Liverpool and PSG on the cards right now, guys. Who do we go ahead and join? PSG offering Ben Asser in, you know, him and money pretty much for the deal. Liverpool offering 85 totally up front. It's a tough decision. Who do we go ahead and join? Do we go ahead and recreate what he did in real life by joining Liverpool, of course? Or do we go ahead and join PSG, guys? What do we do right now? It's a tough one. It really is a tough one. I think we go ahead and join Liverpool. I think we go ahead and join them. But then again, have Liverpool rebuild properly? Is Salah still playing? Mane still playing? If they are, what kind of overalls are they? Uh, it's a tough one. Who do we join? Again, PSG, I feel like joining them because of, obviously, the amount of trophies you're going to win. But do we fit into their team? Probably not. Whereas Liverpool, we might just have a chance right now to get into their team. So let's go ahead, accept that offer. In fact, in fact you know what? We're going to go ahead and accept both and see which team uh, Coutinho goes ahead and joins. 
And you guys can see then Coutinho did go ahead and make the move to Liverpool in the end. Transfer talks broke down between him and PSG. So Liverpool looks like the team we're joining next. And let's take a look then at this Liverpool team right now. And there's definitely a spot in there for us. But they got Verratti in the team. Why? <laughs> oh, guys. Getting to this team. Look at this team right now. This Liverpool team's absolutely unreal. Absolutely unreal. Thomas Lamar in here as well. Right, I think we go ahead and put ourselves here. I think we go ahead. Where is he? Coutinho. And here he is down here. Let's go ahead and put him in here. But let's set him as a cam. Obviously, he can play centre mid. But we need to set him as a cam and set our position as a cam. So hopefully, only cams can play there. Verratti, do we put him in the team as well? Um, obviously, you've got Kunde in here as well. Wow, okay. What a team Liverpool have built. Let's keep the formation though and let's see how we do. And let's have a look then at the development plan for this season. And last season, we didn't seem to grow at all. I'm guessing that's down to just playtime. Um, but this season, hopefully, we'll get playtime. And if not, hopefully, we'll still grow anyway. But uh, again, sprint speed, guys. It's got better. 71 now overall. But I still think we need to improve that. Dribbling is good, 87. So dribbling, we don't need to improve. Really, I think attacking midfielder, once again, would be perfect. And here is then how season 5 ended, guys. You can see we're finishing in second place, just behind Man City. In the Premier League. Imagine that, guys. We can go ahead and leave United to finish it in fifth. Went ahead and joined Liverpool and won the league. How great would that be? But unfortunately, that's just not the case. Let's, of course, then take a look at the Cup competitions. FA Cup, did we win that? And no, Chelsea go ahead and win that. We got knocked out. Okay, way time ago. Time ago, apparently, we got knocked out. Let's have a look at Carabao Cup. Did we win this? Everton. Everton go ahead and win it. Okay, semi finals, quarter finals. Wow, okay. Getting knocked out to Chelsea. That's tough. Tough draw there. Now, I believe Liverpool this season were in the Super Cup, but they were in the Europa League, I do believe. And, okay, they didn't make the final of that. Semi-final, they made the final. Quarter-finals. Round of 16, getting knocked out to Barcelona 4-3. Wow, okay. No trophies once again. Okay, so the main thing we want to take a look at right now is Coutinho, of course. Has he improved in overall? Because if he stayed 82 once again... I don't really know what to do, guys. We need to go maybe back to a club like Atletico Bilbao. But let's take a look. Come on. Here we go. Top scorer, Mo Salah. Okay, 86 rated. Coutinho, 87 rated now. Got up five overalls this season. Still, though, goals and assists. Not the best return. Let's be honest, not the best return. 43 appearances. Much, much better. Much, much better this season. And again, 11 goals, 8 assists. We need to work on that. And here we are then at the start of Season 6, guys. So I think because we had quite a successful season last season in terms of growth, we're going to stay here at Liverpool just for one more season this time, guys. You can see Mane and Salah no longer at the club. So Coutinho this season is going to be operating at left wing. Hopefully that will increase his goals and assists. Maybe we'll see. Development plan-wise, what do we put him on right now? I think maybe I've just moved my mouse there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we need to work on finishing. Yeah, finishing, shadow striker, or even maybe left winger. We put him on left winger. We're getting converted to a left winger now, maybe. I think this might be a good good point in his career. We convert him to a winger and see how he does. I think we should go ahead and do that, guys. It's going to take 35 weeks. We can get it done. Increasing sprint speed, acceleration, finishing, crossing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And here is then the end of season six, guys. This season for Liverpool, finishing in fifth place on 72 points. I think we need to move away. I think we definitely need to move away right now. The Liverpool team just can't seem to compete. Uh, winners of the league, though, Leicester City. Wow, okay. Wolves finish in third place. So, this season was definitely an odd one. But okay, then, all hope might not just be lost as of yet. FA Cup, did we win this? And we got beaten the final to Spurs. Are you for real? We only just left Spurs the other season or so. And they got ahead and won an FA Cup. Carabao Cup, who won this? And Wolves, okay, fair play. We got knocked out long. Okay, okay, fourth round. We got knocked out to Reading on penalties. Are you for real? Champions League, we was in Champions League this season. Okay, didn't make the final. Semi-finals, didn't make the semi-finals. Okay, for the finals, didn't make them. Round of 16, knocked out to Atletico Madrid. But of course, then the main thing is to take a look at Coutinho right now and see, has he improved once again at Liverpool? Liverpool seem to have, like, relit a fire in his career because, again, he was sort of stuck at 82. Now he's gone up to 87. Can he grow higher this season? Top scorer, Coutinho. There you go. There you go, guys. 90 rated now, Coutinho. Has gone ahead and almost scored 30 goals this season. So much better. So much better from him. 27 goals, 9 assists. It's a shame, really, because Liverpool, these two seasons, have been a lot better for him. He's now 90 rated. That, that was playing left wing, by the way. Uh, well, I think he was playing left wing. That's where I put him. Um, an average rate of 7.3. Much better. Much, much better from him. And now then, guys, I'm wondering, do we go ahead and convert him to a left winger? Or do we keep him as a cam, of course? You can see right now, completed the development plan. 
I think we go ahead. We, I think we go ahead, convert him. If it don't work out, we convert him back to a cam. But of course, he will still be able to play both positions right now. So let's go ahead, convert him, and he goes up to a 91. 91 Coutinho, 26 guys. Wow. Uh, let's get him on. Um, we need to improve that passing and shooting, I think. Let's get him on, I think, inverted winger. Oh, no. Wide playmaker, yeah. Let's get him on wide playmaker. Let's go ahead then and get straight into Season 7 right now, guys. We've got three more seasons to not salvage, because I feel like he's on the right path right now. But in terms of salvage, some trophies, because I think we've only got, what, the two trophies? So, yeah, you can see right now, new role for Coutinho, of course. Now a left winger. Let's go ahead right now, add him to the transfer list. Because, again, right now, we need him to a team, maybe in like a PSG, where he can just win countless trophies. And I think right now, we're going to start checking Ballon d'Ors and see if he can be up there to win one. Okay, so we've got a couple of offers that are coming in then for Coutinho right now. Leeds came in with an offer of 207 million, guys. But there's no way he's going to go ahead and join Leeds. Again, we need trophies right now. You can see Inter Milan, an offer from them, an offer from Chelsea on the table right now. And I feel like a move to Chelsea would be really good for Coutinho's career. Left wing, he's got to be able to get in there in that first team. Now, Inter Milan, um, Ryan Cherky, they've gone ahead and bought him. They're willing to put him as a swap deal, plus 160. But I think a move to Chelsea is pretty much perfect. And here we go then, we've made the move to Chelsea along with Coutinho, guys. Let's have a look. Now, Havertz playing left wing at the moment. He's higher rated than Coutinho. Um, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. But we're going to sort out a system right now. They've got some great players in here, by the way. Robertson, uh, Lissandro Martinez is in here as well. Um, who else? Kepa's still here. Kessie is here. Timo Werner. Lukaku no longer here, though, by the way. Morata back at Chelsea. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and sort out a system because, uh, yeah, it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to head right now and change this Chelsea formation to a 4-3-3 once again. Seems to be the best formation with Coutinho. And it fits the Chelsea team quite good, to be honest. We could do a formation maybe with two strikers, but we need Coutinho playing left wing. We really do. You've seen the numbers last season. We've got this striker at Chelsea, by the way, Kroll, who is Polish and 5'7". Imagine he was the Lewandowski uh, regen. Now, I'm not too sure regens, they keep the same height. Um, I'm not too sure, but this guy, 88 rated, looks absolutely unreal. And again, we're in a better cam there, and there we go. That is it. This is how Chelsea are lined the season. Chilwell's still here. ZH, we could do maybe with someone else here. Not another striker. We don't need another striker on the bench. Who else? Who else? There's no one else really to put on here. Let's keep ZH there. He can play a number of positions, Carney. So let's end the season right now with Chelsea and see how we do. Now, the end of the season end, Chelsea finishing at fifth place. No Premier League for Coutinho this season. Brighton finishing in second. Really interesting. Liverpool, where did they finish? Liverpool got relegated. You guys can just see above the camera there. Liverpool getting relegated. Wow, okay, good job we left there. Good job. Spurs in 12th. Again, how they beat us in that cup final the other year, I'll never know. But uh, Chelsea, fifth place. Expected better. But okay then, in the cup competitions, how did we do FA Cup? Okay, we at least got one trophy this season. I mean, that's now three trophies for us, beating Aston Villa, Carabao Cup. How did we do? Okay, we didn't make the final. We didn't make the final, didn't make the semis, didn't make the quarterfinal. Fourth round, knocked out in the first round. So United always seems to be the teams we were previously at that seem to knock us out. Okay, then the final one to check is the Champions League, which Coutinho hasn't won as of yet. Here we go, Champions League, Milan. Milan beat Juventus 1-0. Where did Chelsea finish? And the quarterfinals, Milan knocked us out 4-3. Milan knocks us out in the quarterfinals. Come on. Come on, look at the semi-finals there. You've got Juventus, Napoli, Benfica, Milan. That was screaming. That was screaming for a Chelsea win that, surely. But let's go ahead then and take a look at Coutinho stats at the end of this season, guys. Playing left wing once again. Can he get double figures in goals? Can he get above 20? Is the big question here. Here we go, Coutinho. And okay, 21 goals. I'll take that. I'll take that. 55 games played. 21 goals, 15 assists. Much, much better, guys. Now 93 rated. 93 rated. Absolutely unreal. Getting more goals than the striker. Um, yeah, again, big question needs to be asked to that striker. But anyway, Coutinho, not bad. Just a shame. Only the one trophy this season. And here we are then, the start of Season 8, guys. Only two more seasons to go in this video. And Coutinho still yet to win a Ballon d'Or. Still yet to win a Champions League. Champions League, I do expect him to win. That's why I'm going to go ahead and move away from Chelsea right now. I want to move away from the Premier League. I want to move to a team, even La, La Liga, Real Madrid, Barcelona, a team like that. Or even Milan, who went ahead and won the Champions League. We need to get out of the Premier League. I feel like we do, because the teams outside the Premier League are the ones winning, you know, the Champions League. Okay, here we go then. PSG come knocking once again, guys. Look at the transfer fee. 321.2 million. They've gone ahead and offered... 
you know what? Let's go ahead and join him. I don't think Neymar's playing anymore. If he is still playing, I'd be quite surprised. But surely we've got to be number one choice left winger at the club. And here is the team then at PSG, guys. And it's looking like a really, really good team right now. Rafael Liao currently playing in our position. We're going to keep Coutinho at left winger, guys. I don't see why not. Uh, we're getting our most goals playing there. Mbappe still in the team. No sign of Neymar or Messi, of course. Neymar, I don't know where he is. I really don't know where he is, guys. But Coutinho, let's get him straight into this team. Let's get... Um, we could play in midfield, but I feel like playing left wing, we get more goals there. Let's put him there. Let's get Leao on the bench. We'll sort things around and then we'll see how the team looks. So we're going to head then and keep the same formation here at PSG. No reason to change it, of course. We're going to be linking up with Mbappe and also Trincao in this front line right now. This PSG team, if we can just get a, we can just get a Champions League and a Ballon d'Or. I'll be so happy, guys. Again, a Ballon d'Or is going to be tough when you've got Mbappe 95 rated in the same team as you. But still, it's still up there for grabs. Let's have a see then, is Coutinho even up and nominated for the 2028 Player of the Year, guys, of course, the Ballon d'Or. Let's have a look right now, and is he in there? He isn't in there. He isn't in there. Gabriel Jesus, Lautaro Martinez, Mbappe, and Phil Foden all stand a chance. That's a shame. That really is a shame. But again, we have a good season here at PSG. Who knows? Next year, he could be in that top four. And here we go then, the end of this season, as expected, PSG go ahead and win the league, guys. Look at the point gap. Look at that point gap. 33 points between first and second. Wow. Wow. Just, just, just wow. Let's have a see then, did we win any more trophies this season, guys? Next one, and... Okay, we ended up losing that one. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. We won that one as well, 3-1. So that's two trophies so far. And let's have a look. Super Cup, was we involved? We wasn't involved in that. Champions League, though... Oh, come on. Arsenal. Arsenal made the final. You're telling me PSG can't make the final. Brighton made the semi-finals. Where are PSG? Five. Okay, seven, five to Real Sociedad. Seven, five. We just can't get a break in the Champions League. We just cannot seem to win that one trophy. Okay, then, so no Champions League, no Ballon d'Or for Coutinho. Let's have a look right now at stats. Come on, stats-wise, Coutinho. There we go, once again, delivering... For us, 27 goals and 15 assists, 52 appearances, played one more game than Mbappe, which is massive. Did he play the most games? And he did. Played one of them, well, Dan Rumor as well, but still, the most games this season. And there you go, but still no Ballon d'Or. But again, if he puts up these numbers again next season, there's no reason why he can't be nominated. And here we are then at the start of season nine, guys. Just one season away from reaching the final season. And Coutinho still yet to win a Ballon d'Or. Still yet to win a Champions League. So we're going to go ahead and into a transfer list. What teams are going to come in? I feel like, funny enough, right? I feel like a team to a move to a team like Milan or Arsenal, as you guys have seen, who won the Champions League. A move like that might do us some good, but you just never know. Okay, so we've got two offers here. One from Juventus, which again, guys, went ahead and sim past the day, which ended up being rejected, unfortunately. But we've got an offer from RB Leipzig. Now, I don't know. I don't. I did say I want to move to a team like an Arsenal. And Milan, I think RB Leipzig fits into that category. But I, I just don't know, guys. I really don't know. So we ignored the offers then from Juventus and also RB Leipzig right now, as you guys can see. But Roma have come in with an offer. And why not? Let's go ahead and join Roma. Let's see what their team's like. And here we are then at Roma, guys. Let's see how we get on in this team right now. Looking at the team all round, they don't look too bad at all. Joe Gomez is here, by the way. I think we've got, yeah, Timo Werner's down here. Pedro Neto is in the team. And let's have a see. Where do we fit into this team? Let's get Coutinho right now. 95 rated. 95 rated. Where do we fit into this team? I think just straight on the left. Straight on the left. And we'll work out, obviously, our best players in the formation. Which, by the looks of it, we've got no right back at the club. We've got this guy, Grimaldo. Oh, I'm thinking maybe Grimaldo at left back. Should we put him there? Should we put him there to see how it goes? Right wing, uh, Pedro Neto, of course. So, in fact, that guy was better. Uh, CDM wise, okay, we've got some air. We've got this guy as well. Hoiberg's down on the reserve, so I'll quickly rotate the side, but it's looking pretty good. Okay, then, so the nominees for the 2029 Ballon d'Or guys have been drawn. Have, oh, well, sorry, have. Has Coutinho made the list? He hasn't. He hasn't made the list. Mbappe, Kroll, Martinez, and I can't pronounce the other guy's name. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to say trade up, but Mbappe making it, and Coutinho still missed out again. And here we go then, the end of the ninth season, guys. Roma finishing in the top four. Inter Milan finishing just above them by a single point here at Roma. Okay, let's have a look at the other competitions. Did we win anything? And, okay, the final, 2-2. Okay, that was the final, apparently. I'm going to take that down. I'm going to take that down as a trophy win. I'm going to take that down as a trophy win because 
you can't just give that a result, EA. Like, a draw. What? Um, Copper Italia, who won that? And Napoli beat to Milan in the final. Where did we finish? And round of 16, getting knocked out to Milan, guys. Now, the final competition then to take a look at is the Champions League. And you can see the group stage. We finished top of the group on 13 points. Did we make the final? We didn't make the final. So, yes, we played, but we didn't even make the final. We didn't make the semis. Okay, quarterfinals got knocked out to Hertha Berlin. Okay, so definitely not the best season for Coutinho this season, guys. No trophies. Okay, we're going to count that one trophy as a win. But, um, again, it still doesn't feel like a proper, proper trophy win. Um, also, Ballon d'Or, not nominated once again. Let's have a look stat-wise. Coutinho and, again, good numbers. Again, like playing at left wing, I wish we converted him sooner. 27 goals, 5 assists, 49 games played. Is that the most amount of games it is? He played every game this season. Absolutely unreal. But, again, you know, back-to-back -back season, scoring 50-plus goals. Yet, still not nominated for Ballon d'Or. And here we go in the final season in this player rewind, guys. Coutinho, um, yeah, let's get in one last move at age 30 right now. 96 rated. One of the world's best for sure right now. But let's go ahead. I'm the transfer list. See which teams come in. I imagine it's Barcelona or even Aston Villa. I imagine Aston Villa come in for him right now. But let's have a see what offers come in. And here we go. Then our first offer this season is from Inter Milan, guys. I think, I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. Let's end Coutinho's career. Where he started it at Inter Milan, guys. You can see Ryan Cherky, part of the deal once again. Now 88 rated. Let's go ahead and accept this offer and get the move. Here we go then. One last season in this Coutinho rewind, guys. Let's go ahead right now. We're at Inter Milan. Let's sort out this team. It's looking fairly good. It's looking fairly good right now. Let's get Coutinho in here and sort out a formation. And now here is then the team that we've been able to put together at Inter Milan right now. Change the formation. Got a 4-4-1-1. Uh, Latoro Martinez is here, of course. You can see 91 rated. He's been nominated for a few Ballon d'Ors. Coutinho out on the left. I did have Coutinho at Cam, by the way, but out on the left, we didn't really have anyone of any sort of, you know, any good players there for the left position. So could put Coutinho out there. It's no problem. Uh, a centre attacking mid. We could have Newhouse. Could he play there? We'll try it. We'll try it. Why not? Uh, take a few to Cubo, playing right mid, by the way. Uh, left back, we don't have anyone. Uh, we don't have anyone uh, that can play left back. This guy, maybe. Do we put him at left back? Minus four. Do I go ahead and maybe try and move him in? Play as a centre back, maybe? Okay, we can't. I don't think we can do that. I don't think, yeah, we can't do that at all. But, yeah, I don't, don't know what it is with teams just not signing um, left backs at all, really. But uh, pretty happy with the team. Let's go ahead and send this final season. Let's have a see then, in this final season, can Coutinho just get nominated? Even nominated now, and I'll take that. Here we go, 2030, and he's not on there. Mason Mount, Phil Foden, Haaland, and Mbappe. Haaland at Real Madrid, by the way. Mason Mount at Man City, wow, okay. So, Coutinho, even though he's 96 rated, putting up some good numbers, just can't get nominated for this Ballon d'Or. And here we go then, the final season for Coutinho. How many trophies can he win? So, we already know so far, no Ballon d'Or, but you can see him Milan, winning Serie A, so... Made a really good move there. Made a really, really good move. Roma finishing 10th place. So, good job. Went ahead and left them. Let's have a look at the other competitions. And then finish off. Take a look at Coutinho. Okay, so here we go then. Coppa Italia. Did we win this? We did. There we go. That's two trophies in the bag. This is massive. Beating Milan in the final. Now, Champions Super Cup. Was we involved? No, we wasn't. Okay, Celta was involved in that. Fair play. Champions League. Did we... Okay, didn't make a final. Semi-finals. No. Quarterfinals. No. Run a six... Hang on. Group stage. Got knocked out of the group stage. What? Leipzig, maybe in a move there would have been a better option. But AZ making it through out of the group stage. Top of the group, fair play. So that means then, Europa League. Did we do anything in Europa League? Here we go, come on. And we won it. Oh, there we go. We won the Europa League. Finally winning a European competition. Fair play. It's still no Champions League what we wanted. But I'll tell you that. Beating Chelsea in the final the club that we have been at, by the way. Semi-finals beating Hoffenheim, quarter-finals beating Celta, who just won the Super Cup at the start of the season. Round of 16, we beat uh, Midtjylland, I think that's how you pronounce it, group stage, however. Did we finish top of the group? And, okay, I was... Oh, yeah, we weren't even in the group. What am I on about? <laughs> what am I on about? Okay, here we go then. Let's take a look at Coutinho stats then and how he's finished off in this player rewind right now. Let's have a look. Goals and Coutinho, 31 goals. His best season yet. Played all 58 games along with Barella and Latoro Martinez. But again, Coutinho, 31 goals, 16 assists. His best season as of yet. 97 rated. 97 rated. Age 30. This guy could still go for another four or five seasons right now. But again, absolutely unreal. But there we go, then, guys. Going to finish it there for this player rewind. Again, been really fun this one with Coutinho. Just turning back the years. 21. 
Start off at 21, 75 rated. He's come now 10 years on and he's now 97 rated. Unfortunately, no Ballon d'Or for him. But again, most and every time, it's been the usual suspects winning it or at least nominated for it. And no Champions League. I can't believe that. No Champions League for him. But anyway, on screen, you guys can see his goals, assists, um, trophies, and also average rating throughout this whole player rerun. But again, guys, let me know down below who you want to see next. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.